Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. How to be strengthened in this kingdom? I show you keys that you will hold, and your life will remain an unending wonder. I show you keys that you will hold, and you will defeat life and beat it at its game. Hmm. How to be strengthened? Number one, the first key to draw strength in this kingdom is the revelation of the love of God. Write it down. The first key that is allocated by which we draw strength from in this kingdom is the revelation of the love of God. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1. We'll look at a few scriptures very quickly. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Behold, what manner of love let me tell you something the revelation of the love of god is therapeutic is a wonder that when you stand and look at life and the awareness that the monarch of the universe has invested his love upon you is a revelation that if understood can change your life hallelujah people have received calls from presidents people have received calls from diplomats i've had a few calls in my life from great people prominent people and i can tell the excitement in my heart wow this person that person was able to reach out to me i mean it, it's very comforting and blessing when the great reach out to you it does something that is comforting and healing and then the monarch of the universe looks down on you no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me it's a revelation you must have there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me is found in Jeremiah 31 and verse 3 powerful revelation in a world of wickedness in a world of selfishness in a world that is governed by interest it is a revelation to know Jeremiah what did I say chapter please search for me I hope we got it right I have loved thee with an everlasting love that's right therefore with loving kindness have i drawn thee it's a revelation after the grace this my adorable children will be here lined up to give me a wonderful hug and how i've so missed them and every time i hug every one of these children i look at their eyes and i see the confidence they have in fatherhood this is what the Bible is saying. I have loved thee. Do you know what it means to have an everlasting love? 
I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Ha! Huh. This is the God of heaven. Believers, hear me. You will draw strength for the journey, for your ministry, for your life, for your children. When you understand this, it is true. Would you dance with me, your lover? Ah, my soul to the song of all songs. Preacher, hear me. Businessman, hear me. Dance with me. song of all songs powerful revelation the bible says in first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9 that eyes have not seen koinonia hear me god is comforting someone yes have not heard neither has it been revealed to the heart of any man what god has in store for them that love him there is a dealing with god that is in the realm of lovers that god loves you so much he can sit down and think about you and plan something for your life that will make you a wonder and a shock please do not forget that when it comes to the sovereignty of god god is not a man is a revelation I want you to hear. God is not limited by the limitations of men. Men are limited in knowledge. Men are limited in time. Men are limited in strength. But there is one who is called the monarch of the universe. And that when he decides to stand up and bless you and lift you, he will supply the strength and he will lift you the same way you press a button and a lift begins to rise. Is someone being edified tonight? The revelation of the love of God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 says, For we know we are privy to an information in the, in the kingdom. We know that all things, not some things, all things work together. Please hear me. You lost a loved one. I know it is painful, but hear me. You lost money. You lost business. Your expectations disappointed. Let me tell you, we know they may not know but we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the call everything in a man's life is navigated by the love of God to square up to purpose and destiny this is the wonder of the love of God hallelujah mm. Moses ran away from the Egyptians and he went to the back side of the mountain thinking he was running away from Egypt he did not know he was running to the place of encounter where he will meet the burning bush hmm. very powerful it's amazing how God navigates men through the path of destiny it's amazing how many times you don't even know you are led Yet you are led. In the midst of your confusion, the finger of the ancient of days is upon you. In the midst of your cluelessness about life, yet he is guiding you by his spirit. And then when you see the wonder of his intelligence, you will stand back and join people and say, you are truly the monarch of the universe. I have seen this with my life. This is how Koinonia started. I have seen this at different seasons of my life. Let me tell you something. Do not stand the way of the wisdom of God over a man that he loves. Do not stand the way of the wisdom of God. The intelligence of God is so thorough. He ensures that you win. The love of God. Everybody say the love of God. Let it be a revelation that is in your heart. 
don't give room and allow the devil to take advantage of your life and spy upon your liberty no stand in the strength of the revelation of the love of god for we know look at this one day you will need this scripture sooner or later for we know man of god hear me for we know businessman father for we know apostle i lost my father and my mother this year i know it is painful it doesn't make sense but watch the intelligence of the one who designed the heavens and the earth listen anytime your life looks clueless tell yourself keep watching i've never had the opportunity to be okay well i had once i'm confessing now once in a drama group when i was in primary school so fortunate i acted a rich man i will never tell you the name i know how bad you people are you will not forget the name when i say it. they called me a wonderful name they gave me pieces of paper and leaves i was a politician in that drama i would spray money and people would clap for me and so on and so forth that was the only time i remember okay well and then a few other christmas dramas here and there but there's something i know about acting that there is someone called a movie director the movie director is the one invested with the intelligence of producing that movie sometimes the actors do not even understand the stretch they just know that in that movie you are acting you you die <laughs> in jesus name sam is refusing <laughs> you, you will not die in jesus name are we together now yes do you know what it means to be mindful of a man that means you sit down and invest your thought to understand this you must understand architecture while you are talking to an architect he's thinking okay so what do you want i want a house let me prophesy someone's house already i want a, oh, sit down sit down canal people we are dealing with serious issues this night are we together and you are telling the architect okay i need it a duplex i need three parlors one for business one for family one for this i need a kitchen as large as a living room i need this and while you are describing it the architect watch this the architect is intelligently he's he's adding imagery to what you are saying and even things you want that you don't know by reason of his experience he now he's 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 filtering your amateur communication and he's adding his intelligence on it this is what this guy meant to say while you are talking your heart too is talking and he's listening to both of them and capturing them in the design of that house when he's done and he brings you and you stand you say if i were to draw it it would not look like this beauty glory elegance this is what the bible means that when god sits down in designing your destiny he designs it thoroughly with his intelligence he designs it in such a way that insists that you arrive have you seen architects design buildings and later on they find out that ah this soil the topography is not conducive and they say no problem they have to make adjustments but that building must come out I'm speaking to someone in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the blueprint and the design for your destiny it must be actualized in your lifetime in the name of Jesus the son of the living God please sit down sit down every building does not look like it till it's finished every preacher does not look like it till God is done with him every worshiper does not look like it everybody say the love of God it's a powerful revelation that God loves me you know I have I think in the last I don't know how many years now it has become a deep revelation Some, sometimes I think in life eh, as you grow in ministry in leadership and in age certain truths of scripture begin to crystallize in you again are we getting blessed please settle with the love of God because there are some of you here look at me your fathers your mothers your loved ones and everybody has concluded about you and you may not know the effect of that thing in your life 
until you get to a point where you just say can anything good come out of nazareth but the love of god oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love of god oh he chases me listen listen to what you are singing oh he chases me down fights till i'm found leaves the 99 that's strange i couldn't earn it and i don't deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming never ending reckless love of god look what god is doing in this ministry look what god is doing in our lives i continue to watch people as they grow in the spirit i continue to watch people transit like from egg lava pooper adult from a little shrub god is making many of us to become giants it does not look like it but be patient with god and watch the wisdom i say it again of the ancient of days is a name he has to himself the revelation of the love of God.